Good morning, everybody. I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. We are staying at Aria right now, and I'll admit that over the years, I felt like one area that they've always struggled with is affordable breakfast options. But we think we've found a cure for that. Yeah, <laughs> so in the last year, they've developed a food hall. They do have some breakfast options there, and we're gonna try them all. Let's go. All right, so we did go ahead and get a sandwich at Egghead and a sandwich at Wexler's Deli. This one is the Chelsea. It's fried egg, sausage patty, American cheese, fried shallots, and spicy aioli. If you've been coming to Vegas a long time, it runs in line with the egg slut, egg slut? sandwich. And sun's out, buns out, right? And sun's out, buns out. Uh, so very comparable. Look at that, two eggs. Those look nice, gooey, and delicious. I will tell you, when I ordered, you can change the eggs out for scrambled eggs. You oh, can, really? Yeah. I don't know but why. why would you? <laughs> I was like, I knew Josh would say, oh, heck no. Yeah. So now, we did not. I am an egg sandwich pro. Like, I freaking love them. Yeah, he will eat them all the time. So let's go ahead and eat this, see how it is. So initial bite. I didn't get to the yolk, but it's really good. It's a super soft brioche bun. It is nice ooey gooey cheese. The sausage is not overpowering, but I bet the egg yolk is. Like, I bet look it at, is too. There's two eggs on there. Right, and that orange, you yeah, know that it's You know like that's super gonna be rich. good. Okay, second bite. <laughs> and we're gonna share these. That's why we did this this way. Because we weren't sure, but that also doesn't mean we're not gonna go back for more. Right. Yeah, those are pretty. Now, we initially had thoughts because there is a third option, and it is donuts. You have to stand in line for it, and they didn't look too exciting to me. So, yeah. when we're done with this, it'll be hard to say, but the bun the bun is a big key to this. Also, it, it's just it's a good egg sandwich. I don't think that there's something that is super stand out about it. Can you, can you taste the spicy aioli? No. Okay. I do not get heat off of it. Okay. So, it's a good egg sandwich. I, it's not super standout, but it hits the spot for a person like me. That's right. All right, so from Wexler's Deli, we went with the Big Papa. It's crispy pastrami, eggs, cheddar, toasted everything bagel, and cream cheese. A toasted everything bagel is one of our, like, we love those. Yeah. <laughs> we All, will always eat one. It's already a winner right there. Yeah. It does look like a scrambled egg, not um, a fried egg like on Josh's sandwich, but okay, I'm going to give it a try. You got this. And now I will say, it is pretty loud in here. Uh, the music is loud, the people have to talk over the top of it. So that mm. ends up adding to it. It's set up like a fancy mall food cool. court. Yeah, I really like this amount of seating there is. I love the bagel. It's got that chew that a bagel has. The standout though is that crispy pastrami. I, was I wasn't so. sure that I was gonna like it. I honestly don't need the two cheeses. I would just get rid of the American cheese and take the cream cheese, but otherwise, it's a really good sandwich as well. Yeah, I mean, in general, we, yeah. even though we can do without, like, we always want the cheese, though, still. Right. Oh, there was even a little pull there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to not eat the sandwich because there's two cheeses, but I wouldn't need two cheeses. Right. Now, there are a lot of other options here as well. Most of them do not open until 11 o'clock, though, so we may end up adding some more places in yeah, after we'll this, but for now we're just doing breakfast. Oh. And I did want to mention too, you can get a fountain soda. It was $7, but I believe you can refill it all day. Which I bet because it's a self-serve <laughs> soda fountain spot Yeah. and nobody's watching it. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you got your cup, you're probably good. You're good. So there's a couple different ordering options here at Proper Eats at the Aria Food Hall. You can walk up to each place separately. From what I can see, there are lines, queues at each spot. There's also a big kiosk order center at a few different, like on these big poles in the middle of the hall. But the best option I found was you scan this QR code, it brings it up on your phone, it gives you all the options that are open, and you can add to each place, or add to your order from each place, which was very handy because I could pay it one time as well. They also gave you the option of a room charge or paying with credit card or a voucher type thing. 
So you had that option throughout using the um, QR code that is provided on the table. Yeah, I love that idea. And we actually went ahead and just ordered a little bit more. Um, but we did it right here from the table and it was very simple. And then they just text you when it's ready. All right, so we went a little bit different. We didn't want to share this during our egg sandwich time and cheese. Um, so we went with the bagels and locks. So, it looks so good. Yeah. Now in the picture it shows capers, which I did ask, and they're apparently underneath the salmon. Oh, okay, yep, I see them. Yeah, which you can also see some cream cheese. You got some red onion. It does come with a lemon, and if you have a lemon, you're supposed to use it. Yep, use it. So and we, go. you had the option of bagel, right? So you could put it on the everything yeah. or the plain. Now, yeah, so it looks like it comes on the plane normally. Okay. Um, I did not want the everything because I feel like a lot of times I want to taste the salmon. Yeah. And the everything can kind of overpower it a little bit. But you can see, like, that salmon is just, it's a nice thickness. I, I want to say I, it's thin, but it's also not, not thin. It's not paper thin. Um, what I like about it is the color. It's beautiful. Like, it's vibrant color of salmon. Yeah, it looks like it's like sushi grade level. Yes. We've been sitting here trying to decide, are we going to come back for lunch <laughs> in an hour or what? Because this is a, I'm really, I'm pleasantly surprised surprised with the Aria food hall. This is really good. I, I, I love the red onion on it. I'm a big fan of red onion anyway, but that really stands out. The cream cheese is very simple. The salmon tastes really good. You can get a nice smoky flavor from it. And I agree, I would like to come back for lunch. And I I know there's a lot of people that were upset because this is actually where the buffet oh, used to be. okay. But this is probably more what we would lean towards. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we like the very fresh atmosphere of this. I'm gonna and go I take love the one more bite options. Bite. I know you get a ton of options with buffet as well, but it's not, in my mind, as fresh as the options with this would this provides and again I went and looked at the donut line while we were waiting on this I don't see anything that I just can't live without so that's why we stuck with this one again yeah our initial intent was to try everything but it, it didn't look much this <laughs> this is gonna come out bad the donuts didn't look that much better than your local grocery store yeah it's definitely but this not is a... better than your local grocery store and good. I'm glad we did it good deal So we just wrapped up. I actually really enjoy this as an option here at Aria. I do too. I, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'd come back for lunch. Yeah. Especially those quick options and the ease of ordering. I found it to be very convenient. Yeah, I've heard some people not enjoy these kind of setups, but it worked out well for us. I yep. thought the price was a good point. And we've refilled our soda like 12 times. So we're making yeah. our seven bucks count. Yeah, that's true. The sandwich from Wexler's was 14. The Egghead sandwich is 13. So those were both reasonably priced. The most expensive on the initial order was the seven dollars for a coke but it is unlimited refill yeah so. and it was it was yeah. about 19 dollars for the uh, salmon but overall i, it I thought well it was worth good. it yeah, yeah i did too i would come back now what i would like to come back for is i believe during football season uh last year during nfl they had an all you can eat for like several hours but you get the full access so that would be awesome yeah if i could get some pizza a burger some sushi chicken sandwich <laughs> that would be so great yeah uh, but for now, it's still 10 o'clock, and those are still the only places open other than the donut spot. But I think it was good. I do too. I would come back, and I would recommend. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X. All our links are down below. Thank you.